Hello, ninth graders. The following is your second bi-weekly sheet of uh, semester four uh, or revision worksheet, if you want. Now, uh, we'll start by reading the text. Read the following text and answer the, the questions that follow. Tough as Daisy. Uh, the word tough means uh, hard, um, resilient, okay? Strong, if you want. Okay, paragraph one. The sign on the YMCA door says wrestling tournament today. I enter the gym and take a deep breath. It smells like old sweat sock and the detergents they use to wash the wrestling mats. I love that smell. Weird, huh? Not to me. I was raised around wrestling. My older brothers wrestled for the high school team. Dad wrestled in college, so it was natural for me to want to wrestle. Except for one thing, I'm a girl. I even have a girly name, Daisy. Okay, guys, the word Daisy is a kind of flower, okay? So uh, this girl is into wrestling. Her father and brothers are into wrestling. But the, the weird thing to her is that she's a girl and she has a girly name. Daisy. Paragraph two. My dad has always said, pound for pound, no one's as tough as Daisy. I see my family in the stands. Although I wave to them and smile, I am nervous and I taste something vile in my mouth. I look around. Lots of boys are on the mats, loosening up. I am the only girl at the sign up desk. As I approach the desk to have my name written down, I see some of the boys point at me and laugh. We'll see about that, I think to myself as I pull my shoulders back and try to steady my nerves. Back in Ohio, people got used to seeing me wrestle. I kept showing up and I kept winning, so they stopped pointing and started cheering. Then. We moved to California. Now I'm weird again. The man says name and jerks me out of my trip down memory lane. Daisy McGill, I reply, and wait for whatever comment he will throw at me. Have you wrestled before, honey? He didn't call any of the boys honey, nor did he use that frustratingly condescending tone of voice with them. You're not addressing a baby, honey. Yes, sir, I answer through clenched teeth. I hand him the registration form and he writes my name down as he shakes his head. Okay, he then says, climb on the scale. I weigh 70 pounds. After he writes the number on the back of my hand, I head to the girl's locker room to change. Okay, so what we notice in paragraph three is that she moved from Ohio to California. In Ohio, they already knew her, that uh, even though she's a girl, she was a tough wrestler, she's good at it. But now in California, she's brand new and they don't know her yet. And when she comes to sign up, uh, the guy whom uh, she was signing up uh, to uh, with, okay, was had a frustratingly condescending tone. The word condescending means you putting someone down, okay? You have this tone. And he called her honey, and she hated that. Okay, why didn't he call all any of the boys honey? Paragraph four. First match. The kids look strong. He looks me up and down. The kid looks strong. He looks me up and down. That's okay. Boys with muscles always underestimate me. He will get the surprise of his life. I smile inside. I snap the chin strap on my headgear. The ref calls us to the middle of the mat. We shake hands and I hear the kid mutter. I can't believe I have to wrestle a girl. The whistle blows and I hit him fast with a fireman's carry. He's on his back in three seconds. The ref's hand slaps the mat, pinned one match down. So as you see in paragraph four, the boy underestimated her. He didn't think much of her and, and he got, uh, you know, he, he really got kicked. Um, and she won. 
she used the fireman's carry. This is a type of wrestling technique. Several of you might know that from watching wrestling. Paragraph five, the kid refuses to shake hands with me. The ref raises my right arm. He tells me, beautiful takedown. There's a lot of whispering going on. I hear one kid say, man, she pinned him fast. No girl is going to beat me. My family cheers wildly for me and I feel so good that my grin beams at them. It always takes one match for the butterflies in my stomach to settle down. Now I feel like myself again. They call my number for the next match and people crowd around the mat to, look, uh, to get a look at Bizarro wrestler girl. Here Bizarro, they mean bizarre or strange, okay? That sounds like a good name for a superhero. This time the kid is tall, thin and looks very serious about winning. I love a challenge. The whistle blows and I shoot for his leg. Some minutes later, the whistle blows and the ref holds up two fingers. I have won by two points. At least this kid shakes my hand. And some people clap for me. I heard to my corner and wait. I head to my cor corner and wait for the final match for my weight class. My brothers come down and rub my arms. Dad says, "Just do your best, honey. It's okay when he calls me honey." Okay, so she's okay with her dad. He's her dad. He's it's a term of endearment from her dad. But when it's from a stranger, she doesn't really like him, like it because she feels that it's condescending and demeaning. Paragraph six. When the bell sounds for the final match, I head to the mat. The next kid I am wrestling pinned down both his opponents. There's a huge crowd watching us, but I can't tell if they want me to lose or win. We shake hands. You're pretty good, he says. Good luck. You too, I say. The whistle blows and he shoots. I am on my knees before I could even blink. I certainly didn't see this coming. He is fast and agile. I feel my heart hammering in my chest. Easy, Daisy. I slip away and escape. He misses an arm drag and I catch him flat-footed. Take down. After two periods, okay, periods are the, a wrestling match is uh, periods. A wrestling match is made of three periods. The first period is three minutes long. The second and third are two minutes long each. After two periods, we're all tied up. We're both gulping for breath as the last period starts. My brothers are screaming, but they sound far away. The kid shoots for my legs, but I flatten out. He has one leg hooked. I force my arm across his face like a wedge. We're locked up tight. I can see the clock ticking down. With 10 seconds left, his arms relax, which is just what I was waiting for. I push down and spin behind him for the win. Yes. I hear cheering and realize it's for me. The kid says, nice match, but next time I'm going to win. He just might. My dad drops my sweaty body in a big bear hug. He says, pound for pound, no one's as tough as Daisy. I guess today he is right. So as, as we can see from the text, Daisy is a very perseverant person, very determined. She's a winner, okay? She was a bit nervous at the beginning because it's a new place for her, but then she was all right. Uh, she managed to uh, gain the respect of the spectators and the wrestlers uh, after them treating her um, in a very demeaning way, okay? So she, she earned her respect. Now let's move on to the first part of our questions. Questions A, write the letter of the correct answer. What is the main problem Daisy faces in the passage? Daisy has to make new friends at school. Of course, we know it's not it. Daisy has to perform in front of a huge crowd. Mm -hmm. Daisy, no, they didn't say anything about a huge crowd. Daisy has to prove that she is a good wrestler. Yes. Daisy has to wrestle, although she dislikes it. Of course not. She, she perfectly likes it. Okay. 
What do the following sentences from the passage show about Daisy? I enter the gym and take a deep breath. It smells like old sweat sock and the detergents they use to wash the wrestling mats. I love that smell. Weird, huh? Not to me. What does that tell you? Daisy needs to learn how to wrestle? No. Daisy enjoys different sports. They did not even mention that. Daisy resembles other people. No, doesn't it uh, it doesn't connect. Daisy enjoys being a wrestler? Yes. C and D. Moving on to our other questions. According to the passage, why is it natural for, be, uh, for Daisy to be interested in wrestling? Daisy's father and brothers wrestled. We know that. We know that for a fact. Let's see the other uh, answers. Daisy's coach at her old school encouraged her to wrestle. No, we didn't hear that. Daisy had seen wrestling matches on TV. We didn't hear that. Many of her friends were on the wrestling team. No. So it was because her father, she mentioned it at the beginning, and her brothers both wrestled. Question number four. One event that increases the tension in the passage is when Daisy's father and brothers encourage her before her final match. Daisy's last opponent swiftly pulls her down. Um, okay, remember, increases the tension. Okay. The first kid refuses to shake Daisy's hand. Daisy wins the final match. Okay. So the answers. Daisy's father and brother wrestle. Daisy's last opponent swiftly pulls her down. So what, what, do we, what did we think at that point? That maybe uh, Daisy is going to fail this time. She's going to lose the match. But uh, she didn't. She won all of her matches. Part B. Those are the questions, and I'm going to go through them one by one. Answer each of the following questions in complete sentences of your own. Number one, based on details in paragraph three, explain why the move to California is difficult to Daisy. Okay, this is paragraph three. I displayed it for you. Let's read it together. Back in Ohio, people got used to seeing me wrestle. I kept showing up and I kept winning. So they stopped pointing and started cheering. Then we moved to California. So obviously the move to California was difficult because she's weird again. People don't know her. Okay. So the move to California is difficult for Daisy because people think it is strange or weird for her as a girl uh, wrestler. Okay. People do not take her seriously as a wrestler because she's a girl. Like Ohio, she must start over here. Okay. And uh, in the end, she did prove herself. Number two, infer one character trait that Daisy reveals. Support your answer with one detail. I want you to tell me one character, one uh, uh, adjective that describes Daisy's character, but Whatever you tell me, you need to support that with a piece of evidence straight from the text, either uh, stated with quotes or uh, restated using your own words. It's up to you. Daisy has a strong personality. Okay. She doesn't shy away from wrestling, even though she is the only girl and the boys are laughing at her. Daisy is not intimidated by the strong, muscular uh, kid whom she faces first. You can also equally say, instead of strong personality, confident, okay, confident. You can also say determined, okay, and tell me and give me a piece of evidence that shows that she's a confident person. Uh, she's a determined person, a perseverant person. Uh, she's not shy. She's not timid, okay. She did manage to prove herself, so she's an assertive person, okay? Describe Daisy's relationship with her family. Support your answer with two details. We, as we saw in the text, she did have a close relationship with, her, with both her brothers and her father. 
Um, her father and brothers cheer for her. They were at the match. Her brothers rub her shoulders between matches. So she did have a strong relationship with them. Moving on. Why does Daisy react differently to the word honey as it is used by the man at the desk and by her father? Okay, she reacted differently to them. Uh, with the man at the desk, as we said before, his tone was condescending and disrespectful. He was saying, honey, like she's she's a puny little girl. She's, uh, um, she's weak. She's vulnerable. She didn't like that. Well, when her father said, honey, it's a term of endearment and support for her. She's his daughter and he likes her. So it's different. Okay. Now, vocabulary, find the text, find in the text words that have the same meaning as the following words or phrases. Compressed or tightened in paragraph three. I displayed the paragraphs for you here so that we can look for the words together. Compressed or tightened, you know, when you compress something, you push something, you pressure it. Back in Ohio, people got used to seeing me wrestle. I kept showing up and I kept winning. So they stopped pointing and started cheering. Then we moved to California. Now I'm weird again. The man says name and jerks me out of my trip down memory lane. Daisy McGill. I reply and wait for whatever comment he will throw at me. No word here seems to mean compressed or tightened. Have you wrestled before, honey? Okay, here. It, it could be coming now. He didn't call any of the boys honey, nor did he use that frustratingly condescending tone of voice to me. You're not addressing a baby, honey. Yes, sir, I answered with clenched teeth. What does clenched mean? And remember, the vocab word seems it needs to be the same part of speech and the same tense as the original word. So clenched. Clenched, you know, press something together, you clench your throat, okay? I hand him, etc. So we have the word here, clenched, means compressed or tightened. Now, paragraph four, undervalue or take too lightly. You, you, you don't, uh, you, you put a person down, okay? You take him lightly or her lightly. Let's see what that means. First match, the kid looks strong. He looks me up and down. That's okay. Boys with muscles always underestimate me. Underestimate. Okay? Do we have a word? Yes. Undervalue or take too lightly. Okay? Beating hard. Let's take a look at paragraph six in the next slide. When the bell sounds for the final when the bell sounds for the final match, I head to the mat. The next kid I am wrestling pinned down both his opponents. There's a huge crowd watching us, but I can't tell if they want me to lose or win. We shake hands. You're pretty good, he says. Good luck. You too, I say. The whistle blows and he shoots. No word so far. I am on my knees before I could even blink. I certainly didn't see this coming. He is fast and, and agile. Agile means dexterous. Uh, he moves easily. I feel my heart hammering in my chest, hammering, pounding, okay? Easy daisy, I slip away. So we have a word, compressed, tightened, clenched, under, value, take too lightly, underestimate, beating hard, hammering, okay? So those are the vocab words. Moving on, each of the following sentences contains one error, one grammatical mistake. Identify the error and correct it. Number one, most of the workers were wearing his or her hard hats. It does sound weird. This part sounds weird. Why should we write this? Most of the workers what pronoun does that take? They. Okay. So obviously this is the mistake here. Let's use the red color. Color. Two. They prepared the project projects outlined themselves. Okay. This sounds weird. 
their selves, themselves, okay? Everyone in class are excited. Everyone, we already talked about this in the subject verb agreement. Everyone takes singular. Everyone is excited about the next, about the trip next month. By the end of the match, when you see by, I told you this before, it's a perfect tense, either past or future, depending on the rest of the sentence. By the time the match ended, past, so we need a past perfect somewhere in this. Which one of them is the past perfect? This sentence is made of two parts, two actions that happened in the past. What happened first? By the time the match ended, the supporters of the losing team already left. So this happened first, by the time the match ended. So the match ended, it happened later. What happened first? The, the supporters of the losing team already left. The action that happened first needs to be stated in the past perfect. So already left is wrong. Had already left. You need to add the word had here. Two actions that happen in the past, one before the other. The action that happens first needs to be stated in the past perfect tense, meaning had plus past participle. The other action is stated correctly in the past simple tense. Okay, so um, these are the answers displayed in front of you. This is it for our worksheet. We will discuss it further when we meet live on Zoom. Take care.